we use a lot of water for our homes, businesses, and agriculture. And sometimes that demand is far greater than the supply. So what can we do to take some of that pressure off of our water resources? Some dry regions are experimenting with treating seawater. The process of separating salt molecules from water molecules is called desalination. There are two ways to desalinate water. You can use reverse osmosis, a process that forces water molecules to go through a special filter which separates the salt from the water. Or you can separate salt from water by heating it up. Water turns into steam when it boils, leaving salt behind. If we can capture that evaporated steam when it turns back into a liquid, that's drinkable water. Now hold on a minute. Desalination is not without some serious drawbacks. Desalination uses up a ton of energy and costs twice as much as recycled water. And think about all the salt left behind. If not properly disposed of, it could pollute the environment. That's true. However, new technologies using hydropower could cut energy use up to 30%. Also, diluting the salt left over from desalination could reduce the environmental impact. These innovations can make desalination cheaper and more environmentally friendly in the decades to come. Still, thinking about how we use water on the farms or in our houses should be the first place to start. Water conservation is a very complex issue. There isn't really an easy solution, so how would you approach the problem? 